Hello and welcome to the Excel Cave. Today we're going to talk about performing the sum if function uh, based on a range of cells as the criteria. Um, so in this example here we have quarterly sales by location, branch location, and what we'd like to do is perform a sum if formula that looks at this array here and performs a sum if on these three branches combined. Um, before I get into that though, I would like to just do individual sum ifs on each of these branches just to show you uh, and refresh everybody on the basic syntax for the sum if formula. So the range is your criteria range, which is going to be the location, the branch location. Our criteria is the east branch, and our sum range is sales. I'm going to drag that down. That gives us $302,964 for the three combined when we sum the three sum if formulas together. Now, that's great and all, but we'd like to be able to do one sum if and one cell for all three branches. So, we'll start out with the sum if like normal. Our range is going to be the same. The criteria range is the branch location column. Now, our criteria is actually going to be this range of cells here, these three branches. And our sum range is going to be the same also. It's just the cells column. And when you hit enter, this will return nothing. Um, however, when you hit F2 and F9 in edit mode, you can see it produces an array, and the array is the three values we got up here when we sum the branches individually. So the difference between the two formulas, between this one we just did and the, the individual formulas up here is our criteria. Our second argument was an array. So it produced an array of sums. Now, the problem with that is the cell, it's in a single cell and it can't handle more than one value. So, to get around that, you have to nest this formula into another form, another function that can handle an array. And that's the sum product formula. And just to give everybody a refresher or an introduction to the sum product, the sum product, um, what it does is it multiplies two parallel arrays by each other and then adds up the product of those two arrays. And you can see the, the required arguments here. It's just simply array one, array two, array three. Well, if we close this sum product formula out with the parentheses on the end, you can, sit, you can see that we're still in array one. Why? Well, the sum if produced one single array. It was an array of three values. So that means that the sum product only has one array, and therefore there is not a second array to multiply it by. So the only other thing that the sum product can do is simply add up array one, which is what it will do. So when we hit enter, you can see we get the same total as we did up here when we perform the sum if function individually on the three and then added them up. So that is how you can nest the sum if formula within the sum product that has a range of cells as the criteria or a list of values as the criteria to perform a sum if in just one single cell. Thanks for watching guys.